This week on Maker Update, building your own lightsaber, a wearable Ouija board, 3D printed earrings, Snoopy gliders, a ultraviolet marble machine, pop rivets, screw threads on 3D prints, Google's AIY USB stick, and they look at different types of cable wrap. Hey, I'm Donald Bell and welcome to another Maker Update. I hope you're all doing great. I've got another project packed show for you today, so let's get started with the project of the week. The Adafruit crew are busy making projects for their new Halloween board. John Park's latest contribution is this animated LED lightsaber. It uses the Halloween's accelerometer and speaker output to trigger sound effects when he's swinging around. John shows you how to make the blade out of a common plastic tube and corrugated plastic. For the hilt, you can either source one from a toy lightsaber or John lays out how to make a convincing one from a sink drain extension. It looks like a fun project for a Halloween costume. Phil Burgess has another Halloween project. This one is a file you just drag and drop over USB. It turns the screen into a little tilt-controlled Ouija board. By tapping on any of the pads on the teeth, you can trigger a preset message to be spelled out. It's another cool idea that you can integrate into a costume or a party trick. Penelope Bolnick has another great instructable on wearable 3D printing. This one shows you how to print up stranded earring designs by placing a single thread midway through the print. She shows off a few design ideas she created in Tinkercad. I think they look great, and there's a lot of potential for making your own designs. Plus, because the prints are so small, they're quick to make, which really frees you up to experiment. Greg Zumwalt never seems to stop. This week, he's got two Snoopy-themed hand launch glider designs. One's a single wing design, and the other is a biplane. Both are quick 3D prints with only a few parts, but You'll need to get balsa wood and CA glue to put it all together. What's particularly neat about these is that Greg includes 3D printed templates for cutting just the right wing shapes out of the wood, maximizing your chance of success. Finally, the Ruiz brothers used this hand crank marble machine design from Tulio Lanin and took it up a notch by adding a motor and LED lights. The project uses a familiar combination of an Adafruit Playground Express and a Cricut breakout board. In addition, you need a gear DC motor, a battery holder, a switch, and some LEDs. The version here uses ultraviolet LEDs and some frosted clear filament to achieve this ice castle look. The base is printed with an opaque filament to hide the boards and the wiring and includes a cutout to mount the power switch. Not only would this project make a great gift for someone, but I also love that it's a great example of what's so cool about makers sharing and remixing each other's ideas. I have a bunch of tips to share this week on Instructables. Click Clack Clunk has a quick and useful guide on pop rivets, how they work, and how to remove them. Gareth Branwin's Tips of the Week column on Make has a great roundup with styrene modeling tips from Adam Savage, tips for cleaning an airbrush, and an idea on how to literally shelve a project that you need to take a break from. Bob Claggett has a new Bits video up that covers best practices for soldering electronics, including soldering wires together and using heat shrink. Jimmy DeResta has a surprise tips video that popped up on the Making It show he's shooting for NBC. It goes over some tried and true DeResta tips and includes a couple quick builds for making a tape caddy, using compressed air to set hot glue, and modifying a shop garbage can. 3D printer maker Formlabs has a well-researched guide on his blog showing different ways to add screw threads to 3D printed parts and the benefits and drawbacks of each. Heat sets, wood screws, thread forming screws, there's a lot to look at. Magpie issue 73 is out and available for download. This issue has a feature section about game design. It also has a first look at Google's AIY USB stick for Raspberry Pi that's due out in the fall. It's called the Edge TPU Accelerator and should help with local processing of machine learning projects, including high-res real-time video analysis, prices TBD. Over on the Cool Tools blog, I've got a roundup looking at five different types of cable wrap Velcro, split flap, spiral, and others. I've been using this stuff to give a more finished look to projects with lots of wires that need wrangling, but some stuff looks better than others. Maker Fairs. There's a ton happening this weekend, including Hanover, Germany, Redding, California, Lehigh, Utah, Portland, Oregon, Toledo, Ohio, Zurich, Switzerland, Cincinnati, Ohio, Idaho Falls, Idaho, Parkland County, Alberta, Canada, and Chicago Southside, Illinois. And remember, the following weekend, we have World Maker Fair in New York. I'll be there, and I hope to see you. All right, and that does it for this week's show. Be sure to subscribe, 
leave a thumbs up, leave me a comment. You can get on the Maker Update email list, which will get you show notes emailed out to you automatically every week with a few bonus projects thrown in there that I couldn't fit into the show. And big news, I finally got my Patreon together. As you know, I volunteered to do this show and I love keeping it independent. For as little as 25 cents a show, you can help me do that. You can find the Patreon link down here in the description. All right, thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.